What's going on vlog friends? I haven't made a video in a while and I'm kind of in the mood for that. So yeah, it's about time I make another video. Um, I'm heading out to Kane's right now to get some lunch with Gino to catch up on life. I haven't seen him in quite a while. So this should be a fun little uh, journey. I also haven't been to Kane's in forever either. I don't, I think the last time was maybe in the February recap edit. I've honestly been, I've been doing well just to update you guys a little bit. I've been working still a lot. I am, I averaged about 36 hours a week this month in May, so that's fun. Um, lots of money come from that. My last paycheck was $850, the biggest one I've ever made. And the next one I think is gonna be my second largest one I've ever made. Um, I'm tired of wearing a mask at work though. I wish I didn't have to do that anymore. I'm done with school. First year of college is over. I'm so glad that I'm done with that because now I don't have to wake up in the morning and do school or before I go to work. All I can do is work, come home and relax, and that's exactly what I wanna do. Oh, I uh, recently ordered the Spec D headlights for my car. I don't know, I haven't even updated you guys on, on the status of my car or what's gonna happen with that, but I'm actually decided against modding it. Anyway, without further ado, I want to enjoy this drive, so you know what? I'll catch you guys at Kane's. All right, friends, we made it to Kane's. Um, it's crowded as heck. I've heard that the drive through takes like 30 minutes to get through, according to Brett, at least. I haven't been to Kane's since they've closed everything down. I'm gonna meet Gennaro. He's definitely not in this parking lot because there's too many people. So I'm gonna try and meet him down here. The only problem is traffic's backed all the way up basically to the road. So I'm trying to make my way to do a left turn right now and it's just crazy, but I'll be there as soon as I can. And in just a few seconds, you'll see Gino. All right. All right, I made it after like 10 minutes. I eventually got to behind the one car here and was like, I just got to cut over, so I did. Uh, which I'm realizing now, I probably should have just gone the other side and parked over there and then walked across because it would have been way faster. Anyway, here's Gennaro. Hey, what's up? Someone who hasn't made an appearance in any of my videos in nope. a while. I think it was like, maybe when we saw that Harley Quinn movie like a while back. I have a question for you. Go ahead. So, everybody knows, right, how right as quarantine started, like, toilet paper was just going out of stock so fast, yep. so quickly, and Gennaro's family happens to be one of those people that bought a punch of toilet paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I have to ask, mm -hmm. have you even opened one of those packs of toilet paper? Actually, yes. But we use, like, one of them. So... And how many do you still have left? Oh God, we have like a lot. I, I honestly lost count. I mean, it wasn't me who bought them, it was my dad, not because of the like yeah. freaking coronavirus, but because it was like going out of stock and I guess he kind of semi-freaked out like, oh crap, uh, we're gonna run out of toilet paper, it's not gonna be in stock, so we just bought a crap load on like Amazon, on Costco, and all that stuff, so he just went crazy with that. Just because something is going out of stock, I feel like people don't necessarily have to buy it if it's something you're not gonna need. I mean, on the bright side, right. you don't have to buy toilet paper in a That's really true. long time. I mean, it was kind of like an overreaction. Like, I probably would do the same thing, although I probably would not buy like as much as we actually yeah. got. Another question. How many times have you been to, to Kane's since it's been shut down like this? Because this, this is my first time. This is my first time too. I oh, really? actually have not been to Kane's since the lockdown in March. I've been to Chick-fil-A, I've been to In-N-Out, I've been to Habit, I've been to Five Guys. Um, for some weird reason, I have not been to Kane's 
like that's surprising because I know you love Kane, so oh, yeah. I always thought you I thought you'd be here a lot. I know yeah. Brett's been here a few times. He said yeah, the drive through yeah. takes like 30 minutes. That's why I didn't go here because it was like, oh, the drive through so long. Maybe next time. But I guess today's next time. I'm just gonna like suck through it and just like uh, play the waiting game, even though I technically cheated just right now. This is where we're ordering at, and the line goes all the way around. It does another circle and then oh, comes all the way back around the other side of the building. And I don't even know how people get out. It's worse than Chick fil A. Chick fil A is uh, Oh, I believe it. Yeah, no, it's not that bad. Two of your three finger combos, please. Two three finger combos and three drinks? Uh, what do you want? Lemonade. Well, we'll, lemonade. we'll do a one Dr. Pepper and one lemonade. You put three fingers. Actually, can I get a high C? I'm gonna do a high C. Right, one Dr. Pepper and one lemonade. Can you change the lemonade to a uh, high C, please? Oh, wow. We finally made it, guys. Ooh, I mean, technically we cheated, but that's okay. A little bit, but it's yeah. alright. Because we finally get our food now. I don't even know how long it's been, but... I haven't eaten anything all day, actually. Ooh, really? I had uh, oatmeal for breakfast, which is nice. The window's right here, dude. Oh. <laughs> I've been busy with drive through so... Okay, here's our food. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sweet ice. Mm -hmm. Love that we have no cup holder space. All right, thank you so much, man. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it just takes a long time to get through the line, but once you order, you get the food like right away. All right, guys, for today's video, Gennaro is gonna drive my car. Finally. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you, are you excited? Uh, yeah. It's a fun car to drive. You gotta ease onto the gas a little bit because it right. it takes off pretty quick. So yeah, don't worry, I'll be like super careful with this. And uh, he has this nice Mazda here, which has a push button start. So yeah. this is back to an old fashioned key start. Old fashioned. Gotta key make start. sure you remember how to do yeah. that. I've only done like maybe once or twice because I've been just so used to the Prius. So okay. There you go. Okay, that was easy. Okay. I have the parking brake on. Yep. All right. See, very sensitive. Yeah, that is, yes. that is kind of sensitive. Which is really nice though, because it's like, if you want to go, just you go. Honestly, 280 horsepower, like it's not a lot, but it's right. enough, and it's a lot, it's enough to have a lot of fun though. Oh yeah. yeah. No, but it drives, it drives pretty well actually. Yeah, you like it? Like I like, I like the fuel of it. Like the power, the power just goes along well with it. It's not like an overwhelming amount of power. Right. The Mustang though, that's got 460. <laughs> I've never driven Brett's Mustang, and I probably never will. His Mustang was slower than this car. Alright, so feel free to hit the gas. Works at San Marcos, I think. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> wow. It's like, it's not a whole ton, but it's, it's good enough. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So, give your, give your like, honest car review here. Alright. And, and what, what you so, think of it. I know I've only driven it for like, probably about like four minutes right now. The gas is sensitive, but I don't know why I like it more because of that. I'm a fast guy, so come on. I am the guy who got a ticket for crying out loud. Yeah, that's true. So I would give it a solid, I'm gonna go with a nine. This is like a really cool car, honestly though. I just knew that the first day that I got it and I drove it home, yeah. after that I wanted to just keep driving it. Yeah. So I was like, this is a fun car to drive. Honestly, you know? that's probably the same grade I would give my Mazda, like a solid nine. Yeah, so you, you like driving your Mazda too? Yeah. I guess I should I should give a car review of your car. Yeah, we could go back and you can drive the car. Do you wanna see if do you wanna see if Brett's home? Oh that's right, this is where he lives. Yeah dude. His mom might get angry, but you know. Well we'll just stop we'll just stop by and say hello then. Okay, I've been to this house. Oh there we go, it's that one. I see the the crappy minivan. Yeah. Wait, where's his car though? He might not be here. Is he not here? Uh, it doesn't look like it, dude. Where would he be though? No. We sent out with AA Ron and he just ditched us because of AA Ron. And... <laughs> I'm probably gonna head back to Kane just so I, I want to <laughs> see you drive my car because I don't. Actually, you have. A I have, but it five was seconds. like in traffic, so I. Yeah, it was in traffic, so you can't really do anything. So. Oh my God! Hey, look! It's a Prius. <laughs> I miss saying that. I miss seeing those things. Guys, we're rolling up <laughs> behind another G35 right now. This is a 2005 though, or earlier because the. Uh, um, backup lights are circles instead of okay. rectangles. That's how you know. Alright, so we're in Gennaro's 2017 Mazda. 
Yeah. Three. I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine. Okay. Well, let me turn up the AC. Yeah, we definitely gonna need some air in here. It is warm as heck. It's right here. All right, so, so far, we got a backup camera. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I feel a little bit higher up than I do in the Infinity. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the seat if you want. It, def it definitely yeah. feels newer. The leather, yeah. like everything just feels kind of yeah. nicer. Um, it's got this nice entertainment screen. Yeah. Which is fun. All right, I mean, I can't say that it, it has a lot of power, but it's got enough for what it is. Yeah, has. I mean, it's definitely more than the Prius. A couple things I can point out. Very smooth ride. Yep. It doesn't have a lot of power, but yeah. I think it would probably be some cars off the line. Probably right. beat my CRV. Yeah, maybe if you ever come over to my house, maybe I should just have you review the, the Prius. Honestly, <laughs> I yeah. We're trying out the manual mode here. So is this a? Wait, why did that? What? This is reversed. Why is down an upshift? I think that's weird. I'd have to get used to that. Yeah. short review of this car it's it's very smooth ride I think it could be fun to drive I mean the manual modes a nice touch I really don't understand yeah. why they had to have the upshift be down and the downshift be up I can understand how that's a little weird actually that's very strange yeah I was in second gear and I I maxed it all the way out and I tried to shift up and I pressed yeah. up and it didn't do anything because up was gonna go to first so yeah. plus I got a ticket in this car so so what does that mean it, it's fast <laughs> Well, only if I make it go fast. What would you give it out of, out of 10? For a sedan, let's say sedan, because it's obviously okay. not like a sports car. Yeah. So for a sedan, I'd say like an eight. Okay. Well, eight or nine. Eight or nine. Okay, so let's say 8.5. So it's a, it's a good sedan. All right, guys, that is going to conclude our day, and that's gonna be the end of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked this car review session, which probably wasn't really that great. I feel like I could yeah, definitely make a better one. I don't know, maybe one day I'll do some more car reviews. I should review Brett's car and Justin's car. I got all these cars I can review. I actually want to drive Justin's car. Uh, it's funny because Brett and Justin's car both have the exact same engine. Really? Yeah, and Justin's Whoa. car is a lot bigger. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with Gino. Of course. It's been fun to uh, have you back and to make another yep. vlog. Just I haven't made a vlog in like it's a been, month. It's been so long. So. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.